Hi, it's me. You know that, that YouTuber who used to be a YouTuber once, who used to post a lot. Yeah, it's me. Um, you may be wondering, why are you using Lobit? Well, um, I couldn't find my Garvel plush, because my room is a mess. Of course, I'm not going to show you my mess of a room, but just take my word. It, it's a mess, okay? Um, a big mess. Alright, so you're probably like, why did you take a break from YouTube? Um, and why don't you post as often? Um, I don't post as often because I'm running out of ideas. YouTube is hard, guys. Really, really hard. Um. Huh. Alright, um. YouTube is just, um, hard to come up with new ideas and original ideas that you haven't already done yet, um, but as you could tell, well, you couldn't tell, but, um, I have been scrolling through YouTube for months, it seems, <sighs> looking for something to give me content ideas. Also, thanks for getting us <laughs> 43 subscribers, but let's get into the topic of today's video! I was scrolling through YouTube and I found Gotcha Life videos. And I got the I and then I was looking through posts, not on the Gotcha channels, but on channels I I like. And one of them was We Must Destroy Gotcha Life Once and For All. So I had the perfect idea of everything wrong with Gotcha Life. And you're also probably like, why did you use a little bit of all these other plushies? Well, um, Lobe is my second favorite FNAF character. If you're wondering who my first is, you're not knowing that. That is a secret only my best friends and other friends and other friends and other friends know. But anyways, let's get into this El Stupidos. Alright. <laughs> Where is this? Alright. First thing wrong, gotcha life. Um, <clears throat> gay. Or, if you want to call it, LGBTQ. <laughs> So if I said that wrong, I'm not reading a jumble of letters. Lesbian Gay Rights, or whatever it stands for. I don't know. I don't know what it stands for. I know it has stuff to do with gay. So got basically, gotcha life. Um, lesbian is when a girl loves girl. Um, gay is when boys love boys. And bisexual is when you love both genders. Um, Ta-da! I have just taught you something for your tiny pre-brain. Please don't take that literally. Your brains are pretty big, I hope. Um, Alright, um... Gay... Let's start with the gay love stories. Because um, those are definitely a lot more interesting. First off, you notice that they're always... That there's always going to be the big masculine wolf. Okay, then you got the small, feminine, pink-haired cat guy who wears skirts and everything's all pink. Um... And you'll notice that it's always a cat. It, it's not ever a wolf. Sometimes it's a demon, but it's always a cat. And the big, like, superior male is always a emo wolf. Who's just, um, how do I say it? Um, keeping this a, a little PG. <laughs> not the best way to start off a video. Um, I'm trying to keep PG, um. <laughs> alright, let's just, um, and another thing I notice is, alright, kids, never watch these things, please, um, I only, I only look at, I don't watch them, but I have seen them in different YouTube videos of gotcha cringe comps, um, kids, please don't watch these or you'll be scarred for life, um, it's even worse when they use FNAF characters, <laughs> Please stop shipping Anod and Michael. Alright, um. <clears throat> so, um. And you always notice that <laughs> by touching the cat boy's tail, they go into heat. Now, um. This is something that annoys me. 
If it has any human in it, it can't go in the heat. Boys cannot go in the heat. I don't care if it's human. I don't care if it, it's a, I don't care if it's gay. If you're gay and if you look like a girl, you still can't go in the heat. Even if you say you're a girl, but you're actually a boy, you can't go in the heat. Because, and it, the worst part is, if you, they're like human cat hybrid, and it, if it has any sort of human in it, it can't go in the heat. Humans have something different than heat. Um, a lot different, but um, I'm not gonna talk about that. Um, <clears throat> but um, males can't go into heat or have children. They don't have the right organs. Okay. All right. First off, you're gonna need the um. No, I want to get into female um, like the body parts of the female, but um. I think if you look up a, a diagram on Google, I think I think you can tell um, how babies, the organs you need to have a baby. And if you look at the diagram of the male, you'll see that they do not have these organs to have a child, or at least not have a. a if a male were to get pregnant and to give birth, the baby would not come out and it would be dead, and the male who got pregnant would be dead because it you can't. Um, like, there's nothing for the baby to, to come out of, but, um, it, it, there's nothing to get, you know, let's just, um, move on. Lesbian stories. Ah, uh, yes, one of the most cringiest things aside from gay. Um, so you'll notice that there's always a bad tomboy girl who smokes, um, there's always a small feminine girl. Um, that's not actually how lesbian relationships work. Um, I mean, sure, there are some like that, but not every single lesbian relationship is like that. Um, um, how do I explain it? Um, girl, if a girl takes interest in a girl, girls don't take, don't just take interest in, like, the tomboy. Lesbian girls don't take, don't just take interest in the tomboy girl who smokes and is a wolf or something. Um, they take interest, it, it can be anything if it's a girl, um. I mean, there have been, I mean, it won't hurt to have, like, two tomboy girls get together or two, um, feminine girls get together. Um, it's basically, like, the opposite of the gay relationship, just with female, um, but without all the, um, adult content. I mean, sometimes there's adult content, but, um, that's only for the requests. Um, you don't see many of the adult, um, content for lesbians, and I'm very glad. Um, if you look at bisexual gotcha life, the good news is there's not very much, um, besides of the, um, autistic eight-year-olds who, like, who, um, or autistic five-year-olds who find it, um, entertaining, um, moving on to the next thing wrong with gotcha life, just the fandom itself, um, the game itself, it, it started off okay, um, I'm not sure why Lou had it out of those 18 things. Um, Ramine, that uh, that other boy girl, whatever it goes by. Um, in Gotch Club, it made um, a preset named Valley, and I'm actually kind of disappointed in um, Ramine for actually making that. I mean, um, it's about says I party every night, and it's holding the adult liquids that we not that kind of adult liquids, the um the kind you drink and um you act kind of drowsy on um. Uh, and it's holding, um, the, um, forbidden liquid of, for kids, um, um, the kind of stuff you, um, the kind of stuff you see your parents, I'm not saying all your parents do it, but the kind of stuff sometimes, um, teenage, the, the, the drink, um, and, uh, you'll notice that she's wearing a very revealing outfit, um, which means she's obviously an adult dancer, um, in, um, an adult kind of bar, um, alright, um, let's go back to the start of whatever sentence I was saying, um, <laughs> sorry kids, alright, um, so basically, um, why am I doing the hop thing? Oh no, it's contagious, I'm a Pokemon fan, 
please. Don't bully me. Alright, um. But basically, um, you'll notice that, um, it's just. The game is start, start, itself started out good. Um, it's just the fandom just kind of ruined it over time. Um, like, the fandom started making these horrible cringe. And, um,. I'm not, the fandom, it was making cringe, and it, of course the 18 plus content that everyone knows gotcha, like, for, um, that's like, gotcha, how gop, got, gop, gotcha life is represented in the media as, um, an adult game targeted for kids. That, that's how it's represented, and, um, with the release of Gotcha Club, Looney was hoping it'd fix it, but Ramenade, that, one person seems to disagree by making Valley. Anyways, um, let's just move on to the next one. Fandom Crossing. Ah, yes. Fandom Crossing. If you're a fan of Fights Freddy's or any other fandom that, um, and, alright, let's say you're a fan of Fights of Freddy's and you want to look up your favorite song, um, how about we look up one of the most famous one? That, um, I don't have a computer with me, um, but, um, let's say you're a FNAF fan, okay, and you want to look up a song. Um, what if you looked up Break My Mind, which is a FNAF 4 song, which came out a long time ago. And all you see are these horrible cringe videos. Like, at the top, you get the um, original. But then you look down, and it's just millions of these chibi characters dressed as the characters with, um... Way too many accessories, unnecessary accessories, I should say. Um, and that's all you can find. Just no credit given. Like this, take a song like Hipty Hopsy, the song is now my property. And don't even get my get me started. Alright, so there was this hilarious video called Lobit Voice Lines. So these people filled in the blanks because Lobit doesn't have voice lines in our Ultimate Custom Night. And I really wish it did. Um... I call a little bit a she, um, because, um, the default gender for me is she, um, though I called Puppet a boy for the longest time, but now I go by calling Puppet an it, um, I think it's easy to see why, um, but anyways, um, it's, you see these Quentin, so there was these, and, um, they made this hilarious video called Lobit Voice Lines, and it was really funny, um, and then Gotcha Life took it and made it super cringy, um, like, they made their FNAF OCs, well, not really, um, they made FNAF characters in, um, Gotcha Life. The reason why I'm saying FNAF characters is because these don't look like the characters at all. Um, okay, imagine, um, I, let me just pull around plushy. um, okay, imagine Puppet. Puppet is a pleasing character to look at, because you know what you're looking at, I'm like, um, alright, let's say, um, Puppet, oh my god, that smile, <laughs> Puppet's adorable, alright, um, so, um, Alright, let's say this thing. Um, you know what you're looking at. Um, like, you can see what you're looking at. Um, you got the, the face, you got, um, the buttons, the adorable buttons. Um, um, uh, okay, Pop is the cutest character in FNAF 2. Anyways, um, and now let's say you give this a bow. Let me just give you an example of what that would look like. Um, quick intermission. Alright guys, uh, you might not be able to hear me, um, but let's say, um, I can't find a bow. Hold on, um, <laughs> alright, I think I found something that, that might make it look a little over the top. Alright, um, let's say you give this thing that was pleasing to look at this on its head. The, the first thing you look at when you see it is the, the pusheen, the bright colored pusheen on its head, um, now make that pusheen black and white in your head, alright? Um, it, it's, the first thing you go to is either a face or something. Um, but it's still just that pusheen on the top that you can't stop looking at. Now let's say you give Puppet, um, um, 
a dog show ribbon. <laughs> and you can't tell what you're looking at. Now let's say you give a puppet like a water bottle on its head. You can't tell what you're looking at. Or like, headphones, gamer, gamer thing. Gamer Demi Gorgon. <laughs> All right, I'm having way too much fun with this. All right, um, you couldn't, that, that one pleasing thing to look at where, where you knew what you were looking at isn't there anymore. You're just like, what am I looking at? What am I looking at? Um, that's basically what Gotcha Life does. It takes, um, Scott's design and then adds way too many accessories and unnecessary things. Um, and it seals songs and takes, um, and then it makes it really cringy. And the next thing, this is number four, I'm guessing. Um, this video is 15 minutes long. Jeebus. Alright, um, I'll probably post a second video today since you guys haven't seen a lot of me. Um, alright, number four. Gotcha Life and the, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Um, you see, you could say anything, like, point out a flaw in a gotcha, like, like, um, once, um, there was a singing, a uh, singing battle with FNAF characters of Sister Location, um, and she, and this girl had ads, it's not, I'm not real, trust me, I'm, I mean, I'm not real, her characters annoy me, like, to a point I'd want to, like, I could, like, tear down my wall or something, but they're not as annoying to the point I'd burn my whole house down. I mean, sure, I'd burn a wall, but I wouldn't burn the house down. Or, I don't know, um... But this girl, I don't I'm not giving any name. Mostly because I don't remember it. If I did, I'd definitely let you go witch hurt, witch hurt her. I am a horrible person. Anyways, uh... <laughs> Alright, um... Oh my god, why is that... Alright, um... But her character and I and her sister location, she made her fun Frey just didn't look like Funtime Freddy at all. Um, it looked like if you made Funtime Freddy Molten Freddy was what I was saying. But it said its name was Funtime Freddy, so I was just like, I am confusion. Um, but it had like the pink and white colors, but then again, it had like a belt over its eyes and the cape and striped gloves and um in it was just a mess to look at, like you didn't know what you're looking at. Like Funtime Frey itself is kind of easy to look at. Um not as easy as this thing. But um Funtime Frey itself is kind of easy to look at. Um like you know what you're looking at, kinda. But uh, with this gotch character, you, like, you had no idea what you were looking at. Like, you could be looking at the belt, but they would be like, am I supposed to be looking at the cape, or am I supposed to be looking at the torso? So I went down to the comment section and said, nice video, but you made the cis location, um, they didn't, e you changed the cis location up so much that they, they didn't even, that they didn't even look like the cis location. The problem is with Gotcha Life, they hate criticism. Like, you could say anything, and they take it as criticism. Like, you could point any flaw, they'd be like, CRITICISM! And the worst part is, their fans will attack you. Like, I'm not lying, their fans will attack you. Like, like, there were, like, people just screaming at me too. DELETE YOUR COMMENT IF YOU DON'T LIKE IT, DON'T WATCH IT, OH MY GOD! And it was just like, dude, I just pointed out a flaw, chill! Um, I know these people are usually young kids. Um, I'm not sure why young kids are in the FNAF fandom, but they are. Um, but this goes for any Gotcha Life video, not just FNAF. Um, or, and I know a lot of my fans don't know what Fires at Freddy's is, but, oh, um, FNAF stands for Fires at Freddy's, but unfortunately, some people say Five at Nights Freddy, um, because they were they swap the A and the N, and that annoys me, but let's get back onto the gotcha life before I lose, um, topic. Uh, okay, it's just fun to rant on my channel, and that's probably what you guys came to see. Alright, um, but it's just, um, they basically, um, and they just attacked me from left and right, um, and saying that I was criticizing her work. Um, and it's just, dude, I pointed out a simple flaw that you could easily fix. 
the fix for this is, um, alright, bringing back the puppet thing, um, take off everything you put on it, and there you go, you'd have a normal character. You could have one accessory, but don't add a million, like, puppet itself is okay, but when you add a skirt to puppet, sure, it's annoying, but when you add hair to puppet, when you add luscious eyelashes to puppet, it's not puppet. It's, um, stupid. <laughs> stupid. Um, it's gotcha tard at. Yeah, there we go. Um. And they just attacked me. Like, I know not every gotcha tuber and their fans do this, but unfortunately, it's pretty big majority. And you know what the um creator of it did? Nothing. I don't blame her. I mean, she didn't even look at the comment. Um. Probably, I mean, with how flooded the comment section is. Um, but, the, like, she didn't do anything to try to, like, get her, like, call her fans off or anything. She just, like, did nothing. It was just, like, her fans were just, like, attacking me because I pointed out one flaw. Like, gotcha, like, gotcha tubers fans are vicious. Okay, imagine you're in a, a pool, okay, and there are hungry, um, great white sharks underneath you. Now, imagine those great white sharks are gotcha fan, or a fan of a gotcha tuber. Now, imagine you said one thing, pointing out a mistake. Now, imagine all those great white sharks are eating, now, imagine all those great white sharks are eating. Yeah, that's what happened to me. <laughs> um, and the next, and final thing is, finally, um, gotcha life, um, um, how do I say this? S! Alright, um, you can't say anything on YouTube. Alright, gotcha life, um, 18 plus. Alright, um, it takes, I've talked about this in the, um, gay one at number one, um, about how, um, it's just everywhere. The gotcha community has tried everything to make it stop and unfortunately nothing's working. Um, I don't really have much to say about it, um, because, um, I have made a video in the past called Gotcha Life mm! Needs to Stop, um, um, you can go watch that, um, unfortunately, I don't know how to put links, I'm still a newbie to YouTube, newbie, noob, um, but, um, I think we should just add in a little number six, their personalities. Um, and by personalities, I mean gotcha life humor. <laughs> oh god, the humor is just horrible. Um, you probably don't know my life outside of YouTube, but I do have a pretty dark sense of humor. Um, I'm not gonna give you an example of something. <laughs> um, but, um... I have a pretty dark sense of humor sometimes. Um, but, um, this people's humor is just like, You stole my potato! Ooh, ooh! Um, like, give it back! Um, it's just cringy. They, they're trying to be all kawaii, as they call it. Um, kawaii means cute in Japanese. Um, I mean, I'm not one of talking. Wearing a cat eating ramen shirt right now. Um, I like kawaii clothing, but I don't like the kawaii personality. Um, like, I really like the kawaii clothing since I do like buying it and it just fits my, like, how I like to dress. But my personality fits nothing like kawaii. Um, I have more of a dark personality, I, I guess you would say, um, I have more, of, I don't know, I've really, um, matured over time, um, thanks, Miss Period, I really love you, too, um, so, um, basically, um, it's just, um, here's an example, when someone steals your cookies, and you don't know what to do, so you cry, <laughs> Um, it's just stupid. Um, it makes you look like a total, like, autistic eight-year-old. Let's just say that because the, um, the, uh, the other word I want to say that starts with an R, um, you've probably had them in your school before, um, you know, ones who join to add the, um, 
all the time. I'm not saying they're all like that. Sorry if I offended you. Um, yeah, they're basically um, all word six year old. Now, the worst part is most of these people are teenagers, which means they should have a more mature sense of humor. But no, they say that, but no, it's just, you stole my cookies! Ah! Um, just stop. And they use, um, cute and quirky words like meh. It's basically me, but with an H at the end. Um, or cookies um and they always have aesthetic usernames like xo bubble t xo sorry if that's a real channel um if it is please don't go witch hunt them but if the channel is like really cringy um you have every right in the world too um <laughs> and um you can link the videos down below because i need more videos for my cringe playlist as if i don't already have enough FNAF is a cringe, is, um, FNAF and Gotcha Life is cringe hub, basically. Cringe hub. Alright, um, yeah, that's it for today's video. Sorry I haven't posted it a long time. Um, I'm gonna try to find God of War if I ever make another, like, talk video. Um, what kind of videos do you want to see from me? Like, do you want to see gameplays or, or, like, plushies? Um, because, like, my channel's really just a mixture of both, um. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I really hope you have a nice day or night, wherever you are. Um, yeah, bye.